story, me old beauties. We are aboard the Spruce Bruce, the airplane I bought with my money. Sorry about all the yelling, the engines are really loud. Hang on. There we go. It's better. Much better. So our guest today is really scraping the bottom of the Daryl, Beryl. And it's my brother Beryl, Daryl, and he's going to show us how to fly an airplane. What? Daryl? You know, I don't know how to fly an airplane. My brother is obviously very, very funny, so... No, seriously, you and I don't know how to fly a plane. Well, that's terrible news. I'll try the engine back. Our guest today is Dipshit, who told me he was a trained pilot. No, he never said that, Ewan. With hundreds of logged flight hours. Total fiction. No. I agree to disagree. When you invited me up, I figured you at least knew how to fly. How did you even get the plane in the air without any flight training? Uh -huh, you won't uh -huh, even have uh -huh. a plane then. Great questions, Daryl, as usual. Anyway, how to survive a plane crash? The first thing you're going to want to do is build a gigantic fire, you know, just massive, and throw everything you can on it. Blankets, cushions, Daryl's clothing, the spare radio, whatever, you know, make it huge. What about water, you in? No, we don't want to do that. No, I mean, water's the most important thing. Take a chillax pill, I was just coming to that, Daryl. Now, the next thing to do is reach below you into the case of Evian water you're sitting on. Take out a bottle, open the top, take a few tugs. Ah, now we're well on our way to surviving this plane crash. Can I uh, get a water, Ewan? Better not. Take any more from the case, it'll lose its structural integrity. Oh, really? I really? won't have a place to sit anymore, will I? Is that it? Mm. Okay. Didn't think of that, did you? The next thing to do is experiment with amateur dentistry. So, we're going to need an ice skate, a rollerblade will do in a pinch. Ooh, and we'll have to make a Wilson. Ewan, none of that is a priority. We don't have any footballs or roller skates. We need a fire we can actually cook on, not this huge blaze. We need high ground and reflective material. Nobody will see the fire during the daytime. Why are you blah blowing me? Because that's all I hear, that's what you sound like to Ewan, me. this is a life or death scenario. Now I've had about enough. I host a nature show, so maybe I know a thing or two about surviving in nature. So shut the fuck up and let me do my thing. Well, you started it, didn't you? How the hell did I start it? Because you ran off and had a family without even telling me about it. Well, what was I supposed to do? You're a terrible influence. Yeah, but to not even tell me. Whoa. Whoa. What was that? I don't know. You better stay close to the fire the rest of the night. All right, good idea. So, 21 bottles of Evian water if you're willing to spare any. A whopping 108 16 ounce cans of bush beer. Ted excessive, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, but I've really slowed down. Well, maybe you should quit. Daryl, if I stopped drinking, then I'd stop being drunk. That's at least part of the point. Anyway, one pocket knife. Whoa. Now that's a knife. And one pack of bandages and two of these frozen dinners from Golden Corral. We're gonna have to eat each other. Yeah, and if we eat each other, we'll both be dead. Dear, if we eat Golden Corral, we'll both be dead. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad. What are they even doing down here? I don't know. Hmm. Anyway, that's what we got. So, what do we do now, Mr. Nature? We cooperate. Cooperate. Let's cooperate. I cooperate. Cooperation's great. He would crash the plane. He could not operate. Operation's great. Especially for me. Cooperate. That's how I operate. Now we've cooperated. 
We've got food, water, shelter, and a manageable fire. Great work, Ewan. Great. I'm off to the dunny. Oh, t take your time. You know, Daryl, this may be speaking a bit too early, but I think this might be the best Ewan episode yet. Thanks to you. Anyway. Welcome back to the special edition of The Nature Show. It's been nearly 36 hours since I was stranded alone on this island all by myself. There's nothing but my wits to keep me alive. So, of course, it's a great opportunity to explore the natural wildlife, wonders of this enchanting place. So, let's start out with some hey, animals Hey, let me borrow your t-shirt. What are you doing? No, no, nothing. Just looking for a signal. Nothing over here. No service. You were doing a bit for the nature show, weren't you? No, never. No. Yes, you were. You're still wearing that enchanted nature boy expression on your face. No, I'm not. Look at it. Okay, whatever. I was doing a bit. But you don't have a monopoly on television, you know. You knew I was doing an episode. You know perfectly well I host a show as well with the cheap hat and everything. You just couldn't stand the idea of me making television history before you. Oh, nonsense, you and... It's not nonsense. It is. I've never cared about fame as much as you. You've already got yours, your perfect family and your perfect life. And you can't stand that I've got what something. What do you know about family? Something that's mine. You left ours a long time ago. Oh, go on. I will. Who looked after Dad? Who looked after the ranch? Who stepped up when this family ever needed when anything? you're done nailing yourself to the cross. I am done, Ewan. I'm done trying with you. I'm done pretending you were ever anything more than a drag on this family. I'm done Oh shit. It's back. Sounds huge. Ewan, I'm sorry I didn't tell you about Jacob and Amy. I don't blame you, I guess. Here it comes. What the fuck are you two doing on my private island? Shana Piso. What are you doing here? And why are you playing monster noises on your CD player? This is my island. I won it in the goddamn Utah lottery. And if I want to wander around at night making monster noises on my boombox, well, I'm gonna. This is American Samoa. Now, what are you two doing here? Deal will crash the plane. Well, I ought to shoot you up with bullets for wrecking up my island, but I'm nothing if I ain't hospitable. Come on, let's get you two rescued. Well, that was a great Ewan episode, Ewan. Yeah, that was a okay nature show, I suppose. You know, if you're into stupid shit. Yeah. I see you haven't changed a bit, brother. I suppose not. <laughs> Dude, what's with this stupid hat? I don't know why you wear a stupid hat, you know. Oh, ho, ho. Good one. Oh, no, I mean that cranial abomination you've got on all the time. Oh, the pith helmet. The piss helmet? Pith. Pith, like you're saying piss with the lisp. Pith. The pith helmet. I thought it was like a pith in the pith helmet. Please don't pee in my pith helmet.